So in this short video I'm going to be talking about the whole quality of confidence in relationship to meditation. So confidence is an important issue and it is good to look at it not so much theoretically but in terms of actual experience. Uh, so that's the way I'm going to talk about it in this video. So one of the main areas of confidence initially is the actual meditation practice, whichever one it is that you're doing. Let's say, for example, you've taken on or learnt the mindfulness of breathing in four stages. Now, at, at first, what you might come to is, this is a good thing, this is a good idea, I can understand how it works and I can understand the benefits of it. And so it's a good idea to do it and I also understand that it takes quite a while to get into it to receive the benefits of it. So that understanding will keep you going. But as you do the practice and give yourself to the meditation practice and start to notice that there are changes between the beginning and the end of the meditation, that your mind is more open, more pliant, stiller, you're more absorbed, more concentrated, uh, you, you can start quite consciously to make the shift from just understanding that it's a good thing to actually feeling the confidence that it's a good thing, that this process of meditating helps and works for you. Another level of confidence is that of the principles upon which the meditation methods are based. So for example one of the primary principles is that awareness makes a difference and that if you become aware and present alive to your experience that will change things. Now again when you first hear that, you can think, well, yeah, that sounds good. It, I, I can believe that, I have no difficulty in understanding that. And when you do the meditation methods, you start to feel the truth of that, feel the, the confidence in that that principle is true. And at this level, confidence goes uh, quite a lot deeper because it's not just something superficial that you're having confidence in, but something that really matters, something that is actually primarily true. Uh, another example of confidence in a principle, which I just want to touch on, uh, just as an example, but which is a whole topic in its own right, is the confidence in the process of development of, of your qualities and of your ability to, to grow and to develop and to become a clearer, brighter, more compassionate and kind person. But as those qualities develop over time, then you gain uh, confidence in the principle, in the principle that, that it is possible for us to grow and to develop with those qualities. Now another level or area of confidence is more personal in relationship to the principles. You can have confidence in the principle generally of awareness makes a difference, growth and uh, development is possible, but then you start to relate those principles to yourself and have the confidence, well yes, actually I can be more aware and as a result of being more aware, I can grow and develop. And so you have a range of confidences here, from the, the methods, the principles, uh, and the, yourself in the whole mix coming together. So the confidence uh, goes deeper and deeper. And the confidence is something that you can actually feel tangibly at all these different levels. And it starts to merge with an understanding of 
the benefits and value of the method, the underlying principles, and uh, your own ability to grow and to develop and to be more aware. And together, the, uh, the clarity and understanding and the feeling of confidence come together to create a momentum. You really know why you're doing this and you have confidence in the process.